Okay, so we have the NPC chase and the player, but there are issues. He doesn't immediately abort his patrolling when he sees the player. If I switch the debug info back on. Now at the moment, can see player is false. Now it's true, and you can see that he went to a location in his patrol, that random location, before he moved to where the player is. Um, let's see if I can lose him again. It's proven to be rather difficult. Okay, so I've lost him. But I think it's definitely not aborting the part of the tree that he's in. before going to the player. Ah, oh, you see, look, it's true. I know it's false. It's true, and he didn't go straight to the play, he went to some other location first. One of the reasons for that is that these decorators have their observer aborts value set to none. So I'm gonna set them to both, on both. There are other options for observer aborts. You've got self lower priority and of course both. Self aborts the node on which the decorator is. Lower priority aborts any nodes to the right and both implements both self and lower priority. So it always aborts. And I shall save that and do another run and turn on this debugging. Hang on. All right. So it's a bit more immediate, but I think there might be another issue. I'll lose him. Oh, it's a bit difficult to show, but I think it might be going to the previous player location. So I'm gonna write another task in C++ to fix that. So I'm going to create a new C++ task when all classes and go to task blackboard base, choose that, um, chase player, isn't it? And we're going to use this to replace the move to task that we've added to the tree. Let's generate that execute task again and we also need the constructor So again, we're getting the value of the target location from the Blackboard using a Blackboard key selector. Remember, the Blackboard key we're reading has been written to by the find player location task that we wrote earlier. And it writes to the target location Blackboard key. And we're going to replace this move to task with the task we're currently writing. So it has to be able to read that target location Blackboard key.
just getting this controller from the NPC, we get the player's location from the blackboard, the blackboard key target location. We then use this function to move to that player location. And then we just finish with success. If any of that failed, we fail the task. We're going to do a build. So that was successful. And now you should be able to see we, we've got this chase player task available. So I'm going to get rid of this and add that task to the tree. But I'll set the black ball key to target location. I think that's better. See if I can um, lose this. Yes, he's immediately going to where the player is. Now, I think there's another tweak we can do, perhaps. Teams to turn a bit sharply. So I think what we have to do is to open up the blueprint for the NPC. So if we select the root node, it's under pull. So I'm going to untick this controller rotation yaw. Now if you select the character movement component, rotation rate, there's a rotation rate somewhere. Yes, under here, the rotation rate, orientation to movement. All right, so we orient rotation to movement. I'm going to save that and compile it. Yeah, I think that looks a slightly better. Whoops, missed it. See, uh, I can't see us. So I think in general it's turning a bit better. Uh, seen us again now. And the next one, we're going to make the NPC follow a predetermined patrol path instead of randomly patrolling. 